fire at your desires. You fire. I think I'm fired, isn't that great? So the two Paris corners that I've recently picked up come in this like cylinder box or they both sit in this like nice suction cup velvet kind of finish for, it's just remarkable. I still don't get like the tassel thing on fragrances. It's kind of a little tacky in my opinion. <sighs> Definitely sticks in there. Fire Your Desires is a uh, inspiration off of Angel Share. We all know the, the one that's getting a lot of the love right now, you know, we don't even have to look at it anymore. Everyone knows that that one's getting a lot of hype and I do plan on picking it up eventually once it comes back into stock and it doesn't sell out in the first five minutes. The presentation on this thing is actually really cool. I like the whole metal sticker or this little plate that's on the front here. Tassel is a little ridiculous in my opinion. Cap is nice. It's It's got some weight to it, which is really cool. And it's got Paris corner on the top of the atomizer there. It's just text and it probably could rub off here. Wish that they had like an embossed Paris Corner logo on there, that would be really cool. Without further ado, let's give this a whirl. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. It helps me out tremendously. In the air, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm, like a cinnamon, vanilla. It has an alcoholic tinge to it. Okay, it's gone now. This is like pumpkin spice in a bottle. This is fall time, fall time in a bottle. I really get a lot of cinnamon. There's probably some nutmeg in here as well to support that cinnamon, to give it really that holiday kind of smell to it. This thing smells like the holidays, seriously. I wish I had this for Christmas. Wow. Nella is ever so present in here. Um, there is some woody aspects in here and a little bit of like smoke. Beautiful. This is gorgeous. Sounds like a fresh pastry right out of the oven that has a lot of cinnamon in it, some vanilla ice cream on the top. This is a unisex fragrance by all means. I, wow. So I have some of the notes pulled up here uh, for Fire Your Desire. Strangest name. The bottle is dope. It's, it feels, expensive. If I told somebody who's not into fragrances like that this is worth $300, I think somebody would believe me. Somebody actually did that to me. I was on a shoot once and the gentleman, he was like this crazy, no shirt on. It was in the middle of nowhere, so I understand that. He was like this nut job, complete crazy guy. Uh, we started talking about fragrances and stuff and uh, he shared with me, um, I'll put it up on screen here. I, I don't know the exact name of it. He told me, and I had no idea what, you know, this fragrance was, but plaque was a little messed up so I couldn't read the actual name of the company. Anyway, he told me that this bottle was worth $10,000. Someone gave it to him, that right there, $10,000. I knew he was full of shit, but I didn't want to tell him that because I'm like a hundred miles away from civilization, taking a picture of like a farmhouse with like 17 people on site that they don't speak English. It was a little sketchy. Anyway, back to the notes. Cognac, tonka bean, cinnamon, oak, vanilla, praline, and sandalwood. Um, it is so beautiful. Taken back. I get a little bit of like a almost kind of like a boozy note in here. Not, it's not not coming off boozy off the skin, not at all, but alcohol synthetic, but it also smells like an actual liquor. That's really kind of interesting. Very pleasant. It's got some great sweetness in here too. The vanillas are really shining through in this. Cinnamon, a lot of cinnamon. Oak and the sandalwood support each other tremendously. So creamy with the woods. It's nothing really obnoxious oud in here. It has a lot of smooth woods that just really balance it all out. It is sweet. I don't know what Cognic is. I'm gonna look it up. I'll put it up on here. Um, maybe that's in the top. I have no idea what that is, but this is excellent stuff. Fall time, winter time. And, and I say that because it fits the vibe. Like I'm not saying like you could wear fragrances whenever you want. What I'm saying, it smells like the holidays or pumpkin spice or Halloween. 
it smells like autumn. That's why I put that on there. You can wear fragrances whenever you'd like. There's no fragrance police out there. Someone needs to create a fragrance channel called the Fragrance Police. Someone do it. This is excellent stuff. Fall and winter time, mainly because I say that because it fits that vibe. Thanks for watching the video. If you like fragrance related content, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you back. Take care. We'll see you next time.